Hi Sugar Cubes, it's Ray. Today I'm going to be showing you useful tips and tricks when you're voice acting. So, let's start. This is for beginners. Setting up a place to voice act is simple. You can be in a closet, desk, or any quiet place. You just need to make sure that you have little to no background noise. I know that a lot of other voice actors that have made this type of video have said this, but they are right. Try to have no television in the background, people talking, or a fan. Fans and air conditioning are usually pretty loud, which your mic can easily pick up. Anyways, let's talk about microphones. If you're a beginner, I recommend not buying a professional microphone, but use headphones with a built-in mic. A lot of earbuds have built-in microphones and AirPods too. Many professional microphones are very expensive and it wouldn't be worth it if you're just starting and you don't even know if you want to voice act or not. This step is pretty easy. My personal favorite social media platforms are YouTube, Instagram, and Discord. Discord is probably my favorite because it's very well organized and voice actors tend to be more professional. YouTube, though, will probably have the most people audition on. For people new to voice acting, how YouTube auditions usually work is when the director posts a video with the announcement of the project and the character sheets. To audition, you screenshot the sheets and voice them, then you post it under the desired hashtag of the director. Anyways, I would include Casting Call Club, but I don't really know it yet. A lot of voice actors recommend it though. When you audition for a project, I always recommend auditioning for all of the characters of your gender, or even another gender if you're feeling ambitious. The more characters you audition for, the more likely of a chance you'll get a role. Make sure to check with the director though. Not all projects that let you audition for more than one character. Alright, so when you audition, make sure that you're ready. Have a bottle of water next to you and make sure to drink constantly. Having a dry voice while voice acting is very different from one glass of water. My favorite times to voice act are in the early afternoon and the early evening. Auditioning for projects is actually really fun. Always make sure to have emotion in your voice. When a line is sad, sound like you're upset. When a line is excited, sound over the moon. You have to have tone in your character and make sure to find the guidelines of the character as well. Now this is really important. It's not easy to get into a project at all. As a lot of you know, the first project I ever got into was Romantic Aura by Angel and Devil Gotcha. Hi Addison. That was in mid-March. Before that, I had been auditioning since July? August, I think I before? I don't know. But when you do get into a project, and great job by the way, you will probably get an invite to the script on Google Documents. You can screenshot the script with your lines or just have it pulled up on your device while you record. Try to copy your audition voice and follow any changes your director tells you. Sorry this video was so short. I'll probably make a part two of this going more in depth with auditioning and stuff and character voice, but this was just a basic rundown of voice acting. Also in the middle of this my microphone died, so I may sound different in between takes. Sorry about that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to advertise in the comment section about projects you've been working on. I love you guys. Please take care. Bye!